Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going over Q3 of the Weekly Contest 268, Range Frequency Queries. So f the first thing that I thought about this one was, um, do I have to do some kind of crazy um, uh, uh, crazy out data structure, right? Um, and there are a lot of different ways you can do this, but however, if you see that I stopped it in eh, about four minutes, you'll see that it actually is not that bad. Um, I think the first thing that I would recommend is hit the like button or join the Discord so you can ask questions, but also after that, look at the constraints. So I saw that the value is 10 to the fourth, so I cannot do like a prefix sum type value type thing. Um, and yeah, because if you had a prefix sum, then basically you have, you count the, no, the number of values on the left index and the number of values on the right index and you just subtract them, right? I'm hand wavy a little bit, um, but it's roughly right. You can also practice doing that. Like, like for example, assume that value is you know, only 10 unique values. How would you do it? You know, there's another solution. But the way that I did it was just by binary search, by keeping track of the indexes. Um, there's a lot of potential by off by one, and to be honest, who knows, maybe this will fail after the contest because there's a lot of potential for off by one. But the idea is that, um, okay, so given this uh, array, we pre-process, we only care about one number at a time, right? Uh, oh, we, I guess we don't care about the, the suffix. But let's say we have this array. We only care about one number at a time. And, and then here, um, you can just keep track of the indexes, like for example, 33, right? So we have an index of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 7, right? Um, and then that's basically the idea, is that you, okay, from this, you do a binary search to get get um, something that's, you know, let if the left or the right is on these numbers, then it's very obvious. But let's say if it's 2 or 3, then this is in the middle, and you have to keep track, um, and then... Yeah, like how many uh, they're between three and eight. So then you do a binary search for a three and a binary search for the eight, and you see that there's one number in the middle. And that's basically the idea, really. Um, so I just keep track of the indexes, binary search the left, binary search the right, and then do the count. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, let me see. Hmm. That's a very awkward problem, to be honest. But yeah, but that's all I really have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, and this is obviously, this query is just going to be bi two binary search. Um, even if all the numbers are the same, this is going to be log n times 2, which is all of log n. And in terms of space, this is going to be linear time because every number in the input shows up on the list once. So, uh, so yeah, um, that's all I have. I'll see you later. Or you could watch me solve a live in the contest next. <clears throat> Missed what that one for a long time. Okay. What I want, uh, roughly. But it's not right yet. Because basically. and 
here. Let's do with it. I don't think this is right, but I just wanted to see if it messes up. Uh, like there's a easy off by one here. Okay. wasn't sure if there's an off by one, thought about it a little bit. But still, yes, to be honest, they may have a tougher case afterwards. Uh, we already finished. I'm very slow because of Q. Uh, hey, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about these problems. Uh, stay, you know, yeah, they're kind of tricky, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.